So if you have a 2004 Mini Cooper and you want to install an auxiliary port, um, basically here's what you do. It's pretty easy. So basically the first thing you do is open this up. It's basically held on by these weird little cabinet clips. Just take both hands, put put your fingers there, and put your fingers on this side, and just pull down very hard and it'll come down. It helps if you put your steering wheel all the way up. Then once this is down, you'll be able to access the screws for this. They're Torx screws. And this sits in here. And before you can actually remove this, you need to pop this thing out. And to do that, there are two screws, one there, and one up here. And also, to remove this side, all you need to do is open the glove box. So once you have the screws out of this, you can just pull it forward like that. And that allows these to come out. Just like that. You pull them out like this, pull it up, and that's that. Then you're going to need to uh, pop this panel up before you pop this panel up. Because you see this little ridge right there. This one holds that one down. So there are two Torx screws under this one as well. You just take those out and pull it up. Now you can remove your radio. There's two little Torx screws up here. There are T15s. Two Phillips head right here, and there's the other Torx. Now once those screws are out, the radio just slides out. If you look on this side, uh, and if you don't have the CD changer, there's an empty plug right here. And the auxiliary pl uh, port wiring harness, which I will post the link to in the description of this video, simply plugs in to the radio, just like that. And now you're able to plug your iPod or whatever, or iPhone into the car. Now there's a few places where you can mount this. You can mount it right here. You just drill a hole in there, take this panel off, and put it in there. There's a little threaded thing on there. Second spot is in the glove box. There's kind of that little blank right there. Drill a hole in there, mount it in there. I think that's where the factory auxiliary plug goes if you got that as an option. And of course you could remove your CD or unplug your CD player if you don't really use the CD player and would rather have an auxiliary port. Or you could probably splice this wire into the CD player wiring somehow. But I'm not going to get into that because I don't have a CD player. So for now, I just ran the cord through there. I don't really feel like drilling anything right now. We're running the wire. Um, so I'm going to plug it in and see if it works. You just go into the aux mode. Actually, I'll use... Uh, one of my own videos to play through the car. This is actually illegal YouTube music, YouTube provided music. So, you can hear that, it's going through the car. Very cool.
<laughs> uh, let's see, volume. That's my jet ski video, go check that out. So yeah, there you go, auxiliary cord, I'll put a link in the description, so go check that out. And of course to put everything back together you just uh, reverse what you did to take it apart. And one thing to consider when you're putting these screws back in is don't over tighten them because you're going to crack your plastic. Just get them a little bit snug and that'll be good enough. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Uh, I come out with videos pretty often.